Welcome to Crawford County Outdoors. I'm Dwayne Kohler, and I like it whenever the folks interact with us on, on the show. I got a request from someone, can you make a shooting bench from one piece of plywood? They'd seen it on the internet at some point in time, so I went searching myself and found the plan. Um, so we're gonna make this bench, at, and then Chef Lee's is back there working on a recipe. It smells good, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, Kayla Waltman is back with us, and she's gonna help on the making of the bench. But I gotta show you, it, it breaks down real easily. So I gotta show you one thing here first. It breaks down easily. You can take it apart into smaller pieces in the trunk of the car to go out to the shooting range. And I just had it set up for a right-handed shooter. You can make it for a left-handed shooter. Lisa, can you think where that might be helpful to have it for a left-handed shooter? I actually can. I, I can I can definitely. So you switch that around. I think that would work. And wait till you see this part, Lisa. Hey, that's special for Chef Lisa. Look at that. The Crawford County Outdoors logo on there for the left-handers, not for the right-handers, only right. for the left-handers. Isn't that's that, isn't that nice? Left-handed rifle shooters, right-handed, remember, I'm a left-handed left rifle opener. shooter with the right eye. With your right eye. <laughs> and a right-handed left eye. Um, handgun shooter. Don't ask me how that happened. I so just, there we go. That's great. So we got a special Crawford County Outdoors logo on there just for the lefties. That's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go make this now and we'll be back here for some uh, for some recipe in a minute. Kayla Waltman, welcome back Thank to Crawford you. County Outdoors. You're getting quite a fan club on the Crawford County Outdoors, by the way. Is that so? Now, we were right together in this exact same spot last year making a, making a log rack. So, right. had a request from one of our viewers to make a shooting bench that, that he had found on the internet someplace, and it all comes out of one piece of plywood, um, three quarter inch plywood, so we'll, we'll, we'll go over that in a little bit. But here's a picture of it, and I, I found it too, and I was able to find the plan. So, okay. you can see the top of the bench here, it almost looks like an old fashioned school desk, like an elementary school desk. Right. A front leg, a back leg, and then the back leg has this little branch that comes up and holds the back of the top, a seat, and then a center, kind of like a spine piece. So I went online and, let's see, realitysurvival.com, and I found the layout. So this is gonna be kind of hard to see, I think, on the camera. So I'll, I'll try and scan this and put it on, um, put it on our, our Crawford County Outdoors Facebook page. But also try that website, realitysurvival.com, and then there's the plans for the shooting bench. There's a couple of videos there and so on. And you get the exact dimensions. So there's a lot of precision about this. The, the two legs, the front leg and the spine go together, then the back leg and the spine go together. And then each one has a little, little nub that sticks up, and then we're gonna cut corresponding little notches in oh. the top and then they, they fit together so they so all kind of hold each other like a puzzle so I thought we would use this in the wild games this year that and uh, not one thing I wanted to mention because we haven't been together since that but last year you were the again the pistol champ for the wild games yes. and no one else other than you has ever been the pistol champ for the ladies <laughs> wild games so so uh, we'll, we'll have to figure out how to, how to incorporate this and I already got some ideas about that but I'm looking forward to the wild games and we're hoping with your summer schedule you're gonna be available and we don't know that yet but but I hope so, so so stay tuned Kayla yes. we're gonna work on that so okay so this is five pieces here's the top I think we can probably see here's the top here again that desk kind of shaped piece okay. and here's the main spine um, there's where the bench will attach the seat the sitting part of the bench and here's where the the, the resting bench for the for the gun attaches um, here's the front leg and here's the back leg and you can see this notch here for the um, the seat here and the and the part for the bench here and then here's the seat part we're gonna cut out so okay. this is all cutting today so if we can work together maybe you can do some of the cutting and maybe help me hold and I'll do some of the cutting. So I thought maybe since the first kind of piece kind of will divide in half here and then we won't have quite such a big piece to work with. So would you mind holding that side Not and I'll make the first cut here and okay. we'll be off and rolling. I always want to make sure you got their extension cord so you can keep going and not get hung up part way through. Right. Um, so I've got a circular saw and a jigsaw because we've got some curves and we've got some places where we're going to get in those tight spots. So we'll have to make a couple of Oh, I messed up the cord there. Come on, cord. 
there we go. We'll have to make a couple holes to, to cut out these little, because um, we're going to have maybe, I'm thinking, drill a hole at each corner and then take the jigsaw and cut and take the jigsaw and cut. Okay. But I thought if we got this first one lined up, and I want to line it up so I'm not going to cut the sawhorse. The sawhorse is an important part of this, too. So, yes. so you're resting on one sawhorse, but just keep it from tipping whenever I cut this part. Okay. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Okay, good. There goes the sawhorse. Knew that was going to happen. That sawhorse tipped over. All right. Thankfully, we don't need that for a few minutes. All right, so let's just prop this piece up and then we'll work on the other one. Is that going to work? Good. Perfect. All right. So you can see our desktop shape here, kind of like, again, old-fashioned old school desk. So I think maybe we'll make a straight cut here, and then a straight cut here, and then maybe we can use our jigsaw to make these curves. Does that sound, does that make sense? Yes, that sounds All right, good. so let's go, let's see, let's go this way. We'll do this in two parts, I guess. Okay. How's your jigsaw, have you ever done any jigsawing before? I don't believe so. I might have done a little bit of it at Make a Difference Day Okay. this year. How was that, by the way? That was great. So you and I worked together on a um, pretty cold day. It yes. snowed honestly crazy. <laughs> so snowed. go up to the it's rec cold. complex, by the way. There's several new bridges up at the rec complex yes, that uh, were the result of that work. Let me just make this first cut. And I'll just kind of stop about there. Then we can use the jigsaw and make the curve. And then I'll make that straight cut. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Okay. wasn't very straight on that one. I got to get more, make them more straighter. So the, the community community wellness initiative, is that what that's called? And the fitness trail up at the rec complex? That I was, believe so. Even, even with the, um, the kind of unusually bad October weather last year, we yeah. still had a good time. And a bunch of your classmates at Allegheny were up there helping um, yes. building those bridges. So we appreciate all their help. <laughs> So I went ahead and laid this all out ahead of time because it was kind of kind of tricky. One of the parts that was really tricky was interpreting what this meant. So, as you look at the as you look at the plan that laid out um, uh, on that website page, it said R12. So I assumed that meant the radius of this circle was a 12-inch radius. So I took a piece of string and I figured about halfway between these two corners and I measured out 12 inches of string. And sure enough, that made that that made that circle. So oh, good interpretation. And these other little corners, um, I took the the, the lid off of a container of uh, peanuts that I had in the house. Oh. Crash ate the peanuts. <laughs> so I had the lid off and I used it to, to trace around. So. He's so, so helpful. So Crash, yeah, so Crash got some peanuts out of the deal. So. Yes, great. Okay, you want to try? Sure. All right, so we're just going to stay on that side of the line. Okay. And get, there you go. Kayla, we've got all the pieces cut out. Now the last, this is kind of a touchy part, but each of these pieces has four little notches or little little rectangles that are going to be cut out to correspond with those 
those little nubs that we put on the on the legs and things. So okay. I think I think what I'm going to try is I'll drill a hole at each corner that's with a bigger bit that should hopefully the blade. So I'm going to grab a bit and measure here with the jigsaw just to see okay. if that blade will fit. So it looks like it will. Yes. So I think the, I'll be able to put the saw down in. Okay. So I grabbed the drill before. So this is a test run to see if this is going to work. All right. So right in the corner. And I'm going to need to be in caddy corner so I can make one down and one over. And then if I drill a hole in that corner, I can go that way and that way. Does that make, does that make sense? Yes. Get that lined up just right at the corner. Okay. And we'll go at this corner. This drill bit feels like it's getting kind of old. Doesn't want to go very fast. <laughs> when you're drilling on plywood, sometimes you get splinters at the bottom of the hole. I'm getting a little bit of splinter, so you might want to we might want to get a separate piece of wood and drill into the other piece of wood so we don't get those splinters. But oh, that's yeah. not that's not terrible. Okay. So again, this isn't like a precision kind of a thing where we're trying to right. make a piece of furniture for the house. We're, we want to be a lot more careful about that sort of thing. a little bit. All right, let me just clean up the corners. Okay. I think that's going to work. Yeah, that worked out really well. Let's flip that over. See if I smooth that this one a little bit. Okay. That's better. Try again. Okay. There we go. Okay. That same thing seven more times. Okay. Now we know how to do it. We got all the pieces made, got all the notches cut out, so shall we try and put it together? I think we should. All right, See so you grab did. the spine. I've got the front leg. Okay. Let's tip it. Let's tip it like this. All right. So that slot goes down with, corresponds with this one. Okay. There so we go. far, so good? Yes. Okay. So this one in let's next. have this one go next. Okay, pretty good. I think now, so. Our top. Let's see, we're gonna have this side on the top, correct? Um, or the other this, this will be the bottom for okay. this for this arrangement. Now, one thing that was kind of neat about this is you can go either left-handed or right-handed. So, and if those things are tight, that's probably a good thing because that's gonna give us extra tension to hold it yes. still. All right, good. Okay. And now the seat. Wow, look at Perfect. that. Give it a try. Okay. 
my imaginary gun. <laughs> with your imaginary left-handed gun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are these popular at college, Kayla? Um, <laughs> well, you don't see too many You don't see them? You don't see them? Okay. Unfortunately. Probably a good thing for or other reasons, I guess. Yeah. For other, other things. So, so you're a junior so. this year. I am, yeah. Having a good year. Yeah, it's Having a, a busy year. year. Yes. So your, your cheerleading season ended here not too awful long ago. It How'd did. it go? It did. It went really well. The girls' basketball team made it to playoffs, and... They had a few really good games. So we I didn't proud. get to very many, but I did get a couple of the guys' games, and yes. the, the, the most re the, the last one was awesome. I mean, it was a it was great close game and finished with the Gators coming coming from behind. So yes. good things for the future for them. Well, I would say so. Well, Kayla, thank you very much for helping out on Crawford County Outdoors. Of We're course, looking forward to those fun. wild games. Yes. So, and you you have an inside track now on some of the you know some of the secret stuff that no one else no one else <laughs> know. Just you and I are the only ones that are going to know about this. Well, we won't tell them. Okay, so, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Chef Lisa is coming up next. She's got oh. making making something for us to try today. So I'm not sure what it is, but I bet it's going to be good. Yes. So I'm stay sure tuned for that. Chef Lisa, Lisa Beck. So what are we working on here today? Well, you know, spring is here. Yeah, it seems like we've had a lot of like soups and chili. We and, have uh, stroganoff and yeah. That's right. So we're going for the lighter version, and we're doing a salad. Good. And Good. you know, before you know it, it'll be Cinco de Mayo. That, so yes. Why not do a southwestern salad? Fair enough. Okay. So this is a southwestern cilantro salad. It's very simple, very easy, and delicious. And colorful. Ex yes, very colorful. Which you know, the more colorful your the food you eat, the healthier it is. So this is a healthy one. Kind of like our, our shooting bench was colorful when it, it was done. That is true. It took me longer to paint the darn thing than it did to cut it out. I, th I was thinking the cutting out was going to take, that really didn't take long at all. No. It was the painting and the laying it out all ahead of time. That, right, that took sure, time. no doubt. Okay, so are we ready? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you what our ingredients are, first of all. Um, I have two stalks of Hearts of Romaine. You could use three, two or three. I have a can of rinsed and dra drained and rinsed black beans. Okay. We have uh, two cups of corn. I just use frozen, you can use whatever, and I thawed them out. A pint of, uh, I sliced them in half, cherry tomatoes. For color, just, you know, because you could use yeah. any color, but we went with the orange, one chopped orange bell pepper. And we have five green onions chopped. Okay, so that's the base of our salad. The rest of what we have here is for the dressing. Almost like a rainbow kind of a thing there. It is, there. it is. And for me, that's, you know, that's what Good. I like. Okay. So okay. hopefully our our, uh, our viewers will enjoy this as well. So for our dressing, we're gonna use a food processor and I have a cup of loosely chopped cilantro. Okay, and we're just gonna put that in there in our food processor and get that there. And we're going to add the juice of one lime. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we're going to add some garlic. There's two uh, garlic cloves in there. Okay. Healthy, healthy. I never knew all the kind of stuff that went into dressing before. Yeah, so, a lot okay. of good stuff. Okay. And this is a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon and a half of white wine vinegar. Now just looking at that, it looks like water. I mean, that's just it does. clear as can be. Okay. It does. White wine vinegar. And we have about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna put that in there. It's a little bit more, so I don't wanna use it all. And we can adjust that if it, okay. we think it needs more. And it calls for either a half a cup of avocado or a half of a cup of plain yogurt. I'm actually gonna use a little avocado and a little bit of yogurt. Okay, okay and this is, of course, my favorite, the Greek yogurt. So we're going to add. We talked about that last time. We did. Yeah. That's something that I like. That's about a fourth of a cup. And then we'll put in some avocado. Okay. And now we are ready to turn this on. Okay. So we, we won't talk through this one okay. because it'll be a little loud. One other thing, Dwayne, that I forgot to mention earlier is that we do need to drizzle in about a fourth of a cup of olive oil. Particular kind of olive oil or? Um, just any kind of olive oil. Okay, your favorite okay. kind. But your, whatever kind you prefer. Okay. So I'm gonna drizzle that in there and then we will continue to mix it up. Okay.
and it gets that nice green color. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to mix it just a little bit longer. And I think we're good. I just think if you went to the store for that, they'd charge you a fortune for something That's else like right. that, wouldn't they, Lisa? That they would. They would. And now we can just assemble. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take our romaine. Get that in there. No, no left-handed can opener today? Not today. I opened the can of beans before you oh, got okay. So, okay. sorry about that. Okay. And then we will put our beans in there. And our corn. Can you smell that? It smells oh, yeah. wonderful. This is one that's like visually appealing in addition to smelling I great. I agree. I did take this to a summer picnic once and it was a hit. Some pepper there. I bet you there wasn't a Crawford County outdoor shooting bench at that picnic. Though. There wasn't. Come to think yes, of it, okay. those are one of a kind, Dwayne. You know, okay. Just like you, Dwayne. One of a kind. The, so. the mold got broken. The Probably mold. a good thing. Okay. Now, whoop, gotta take the lid off first. Oh, okay. That would help. Safety feature. Of Safety course. first. Yes. Okay. And what we're gonna do. Is just take our dressing if you like cilantro this is a fantastic dish a lot of people like cilantro you know it's that's, one of those ones you love it or you hate uh, so it that's one of those ones that, that, that probably not everybody does like but it definitely is part of um, like a southwestern kind of a absolutely yeah and then it's just toss not literally tossed, but no. figuratively Figuratively. Because okay. <laughs> I see the crowd starting to collect here for sampling, so we yes. could toss them some, but... We won't do that no. today. No, okay, okay. We won't do that today. I remember as a kid uh, asking my uncle to pass me a roll, at, and it came flying. And it, it came it, flying yeah. across the kitchen. <laughs> Make sure we get that all out of there. Okay, and it's colorful. Look at that. And when we come back... We'll have all our taste testers here and we'll be ready to sample. Wonderful. Wow, Lisa, that looks that looks great. It smells so good. Well, Gavin. Gavin, Dwayne? you're actually the first one to get to try out the shooting bench. Not shooting, but uh, salading. Well, you can it's you know, versatile. So now we'll we use this for the wild games and uh, now that you're the you know champ. Of the wild games. <laughs> Not that I need to bring that up again, or do you think yeah. anybody forgot? I, I don't know. We'll remind them. We'll Lisa remind. was the champ of the wild games, by the way. So <laughs> she'll get to use this bench now in a left handed mode. That's, that's right. I'm excited. Year, so. mm. Mm -mm. Mm. What do you think, Gab? Yeah. It tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Love that cilantro. Mm hmm. Very good. And all those different flavors with the beans and the corn. It's very good. It has a little spice. You like it that way, don't you? Definitely a great spring salad. Maybe we'll need to have a picnic at the Wild Games and we could serve this. What a this. great idea. It'd be fun. We still got to shoot some stuff, though. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. But you that's can always have salad. That's, that's right. That's right. Well, Lisa, thank you. That You're was welcome. great. You're welcome. And thanks to the viewer who sent us the idea for the shooting bench. And thanks to Kayla for helping put it together. Absolutely. Especially thanks to the folks at home for joining us today on Crawford County Outdoors. We'll talk to you next time.